Hello, Busting Packs fans. Today I'm going to be previewing my 1972-73 Tops basketball set. So you've got the box, you've got a wrapper, and you've got front and center the Dr. J stat card and rookie card from that year. You'll notice right off the bat the Dr. J card is poorly centered. So I purchased this card a few years ago, and before I had a chance to do an upgrade, this card went absolutely bonkers. Probably selling for almost two grand in a PSA 7 a few years ago. The market has settled a bit, so I'm in the market for probably a 5, maybe a 6. More centered version, if anyone has one and is interested in trading, uh, let me know. Wilt Chamberlain starts us off with the number one card. You'll see that his uh, jersey is, is reversed. I think that's because Topps did not have the rights to the Lakers logo, so they had him reverse his shirt. You'll also see that no one else's logos are showing, more or less. There's a few that are. Um, some of them are obscured. There's Pistol Pete. By the way, that little white dot there is called a fish eye, which will detract from a card and will drop the grade on it. So don't submit to GAI if you've got a fish eye in your card. Dave Cowens. Randy Smith. Matt Gukas. Apologies in advance if I skip over your favorite cards, Spencer Haywood, Jerry Sloan. Too many cards to stop on each one. Jerry Lucas, who memorized the New York City phone book in his free time. Leroy Ellis of the Lakers. Art Williams, Sidney Wicks. I think that's Sidney Wicks' rookie card. Again, a little OC. Wes Unseld, tough to find cards, really well-centered. Oscar Roberts in the big O in this set. Connie Hawkins. It's Phil Jackson's rookie card. Nate Thurmond. Calvin Murphy, who used to own the record for highest free throw percentage. I don't know if he still does. <clears throat> George Trapp. Jojo White. Rick Barry. So there's his, uh, Rick's second year card. I almost said rookie. That's the second year Barry. Gail Goodrich, who's also featured on the box. So there's Gail doing his thing. I think that's Jerry West right there behind. It's unfortunate he wasn't featured more prominently. You could probably go back and see, do some research and figure out when this game was played uh, based on the score and the teams. And the arena. Dick Barnett. Paul Silas. Hal Greer. Walt Frazier. A lot of Hall of Famers. A lot of Hall of Famers in this set. Clem Haskins. I think he was a coach for a while. Tom Sanders, who won like 18 titles with the Celtics. Earl Monroe, one of the twins, one of the Van Arsdale twins. Bob Lanier. That's his second year, I believe. There's Jerry West. So you can see centering definitely plagues this set, unfortunately. Lenny Wilkins. Neil Walk, Florida Gator. Clifford Ray. I saw Clifford Ray in an old-timers game in the late 80s, and he didn't look like he could even walk, but he was, he was playing. He had size 24 shoes. Garfield Hurd. The other Van Arsdale twin. You ever wonder if they tricked the photographer and posed for each other? Then they probably realized that was kind of boring. Rudy Tomjanovic. There's Kareem. Unfortunately, Kareem is off-centered. Nice card otherwise. Dave DeBusher, two-sport athlete. I have his 64 Tops baseball rookie card. John Havlicek, sixth man award. He just passed recently. Norm Van Leer. Nate Archibald. That is his... Third year, I think. Maybe second year. 
Rick Edelman. A lot of coaches. Bill Bradley, Senator Bradley, his honor. Sir, Sir Bill Bradley. Willis Reed. Don Chaney. John Brisker. So I think that's the guy that ended up going to Angola and fighting the communists and disappeared something. Or maybe it was uh, Idi Amin. I forget. Somebody DM me in the chat and tell me uh, John Brisker's story. And I'll enter you in a drawing to win something. Oh, missing a card. I'm missing 144. Anyone know what that is? Wait, is that the... Is that the no? That's not the Doctor J. I'm missing card 144. If anyone has that in their collection, send me a note. Elvin Hayes, Chet Walker, Bob Love, Lucius Allen. You know, sometimes I like to play a game where I look at I look at just the nine cards on the page, and I think to myself, are, does that have the best grouping of nine players in the entire set? And I know Tops didn't anticipate people keeping cards in nine pocket pages, but it's a fun game to play. This this page has got to be up there. Elvin Hayes, all time. Walker and Love were fantastic. Lucius Allen was a great pro and even better college player. So that could be one of them. I don't know much about John Hummer. Bobby Smith, good ball player too. So, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, that game doesn't count for all-stars because I don't think that's fair because they're all fantastic. Have a check. Here's the championship cards. So you've got uh, the Knicks versus the Lakers, and this is the year that the um, the Lakers, and more importantly, Wilt Chamberlain, finally got his ring. There he's coming down with a massive rebound. Here's some more All-Stars. Kareem, Jerry, Frazier, Bob Love, Wilt. And the stat cards are pretty stacked, too. I mean, Kareem and Havlicek on a card. Kareem, Archibald, Havlicek. This card, I mean, uh, Chamberlain, Jabbar, and Bellamy. It's pretty good. So, that's uh, how about this one? Chamberlain, Jabbar, and Unseld. Here's Artist Gilmore. That's his rookie. Matt Calvin. Very good ABA player. George McGinnis. Uh, is that his rookie? I don't remember. Willie Wise. Good ABA player. They had some great names. The Stars, the Tams, the Chaparrals, the Squires, the Colonels. So some great some great names in those ABA. The Conquistadors. I mean, come on. That's an amazing name. Surprised they could fit it on one card. So as you can tell, we've gotten into the ABA portion of the of the set. Bob Melchioni, Zelmo Beatty. Dan Issel, that's his second year, and I think this that's probably the uh, is that the Irving? I'm missing a I'm missing an ABA card there. That's one of the problems of taking the stars out and putting them separately. You get confused as to what you have and what you don't have. Rick Barry. This is a great card. Shooting the underhanded free throw. And was not ashamed of it. And I wouldn't be either if I shot 98% free throws for my career. And there's the Dr. J stat card, which a lot of people collect because it is technically his rookie. And then in the back here, I just have uh, some extras. Sometimes if I um, if I have some extras I like and I don't want to, I want to keep them with the set. I just sort of put them in the back. So there's some extra cards there. So that is the 1972-73 Topps basketball set, uh, most famous for the Dr. J rookie. But don't sleep on some of the other rookies, like the artist Gilmore uh, and uh, others that I've mentioned earlier in this video, which you can rewind for yourself because I have forgotten them. I really appreciate uh, your viewership and your subbing, et cetera, et cetera. And please stay tuned for other vintage basketball set reviews. Good night.